Now you say it. Hail. Yes, again. Hail. Mm -hmm. One more time. Hail. That's right. Hail has two meanings. When it hails, small balls of ice fall from the sky. We took cover under the tent when it started to hail. Hail also means to attract someone's attention. Terry must hail a cab. Say it again. Hail. Correct. Hair. 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 You say it. Hair. Again. Hair. Mm -hmm. One more time. Hair. Yes, correct. Hair is the mass of fine, soft strands that grow on your head or your body, or that grow on the body of an animal. Cassidy has long, curly, brown hair. Say it again, hair. Yes, that's right. Half, half, half. You try it, half. Again, half. One more time, half. That's right, half has two meanings. Half means one of two equal parts of something. Half of one foot is six inches. Half also means partly or not completely. The meat is only half cooked. Say it again, half. Yes, that's right. Halt, halt, halt. Now you say it, halt. Again, halt. One more time, halt. Correct. Halt means to stop. At six o'clock, the builders halt their work for the day. Say it again, halt. Correct. Ham, ham, ham. You say it, ham. Mm -hmm. Again, ham. Yes, repeat one more time, ham. That's right. Ham is the meat from the upper part of a pig's hind leg. It has been salted and preserved. Ham is a favorite picnic food. Say it again, ham. That's right. Hamburger, ham -burger. hamburger. You say it, hamburger. Again, hamburger. One more time, hamburger. Yes, that's right. A hamburger is a round, flat piece of cooked beef, usually served on a bun. Nathan would like to eat hamburgers and french fries for lunch today. Say it again, hamburger. Yes, that's right. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Now you say it, hammer. Yes, again, hammer. One more time, hammer, correct. A hammer is a tool with a metal head on a handle. It's used for hitting things such as nails. Be careful that you do not hit your thumb while using the hammer. Say it again, hammer, correct. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Why don't we all go rollerblading tonight? Uh, not tonight, honey. Mom, spending time with me now means having a better chance of being close to me when I'm a teenager. Give your family everything. Give them your time. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Hand. Hand, hand, you say it, hand. Mm -hmm. Please repeat, hand. One more time, hand. Yes, that's right. Hand has several meanings. Hand means this part of your body, the part of your body on the end of your arm that includes your wrist, palm, fingers, and thumb. Helen writes with her left hand. Hand also means to 
pass or give something to someone. Please hand me another sheet of paper. Hand means one of the pointers on the clock. When both the hour hand and the minute hand are on 12, it will be noon. Say it one more time, hand. Yes, that's right. Handful, handful, handful. You say it, handful. Again, handful. One more time, handful. That's right. Handful has two meanings. A handful is the amount that you can hold in your hand. Chuck ate one handful of peanuts. A handful is also a small number of people or things. Only a handful of students attended the service project. Say it again, handful. Yes, that's right. Handicap, handicap, handicap. Now you say it, handicap. Again, handicap. Repeat one more time, handicap. That's right. Handicap means a physical disability. Vera's handicap requires her to use a wheelchair. Handicap also means a disadvantage that makes something difficult. The runner saw the long hill as an enormous handicap in finishing the race. Say it again, handicap. Correct. Handle, handle, handle. You try it, handle. Again, handle. Yes, one more time, handle. That's right. Handle has several meanings. A handle is the part of an object that you use to carry, move, or hold an object. The door will not open because the door handle is stuck. Handle also means to pick something up and hold it in your hands in order to look at it carefully. The sign in the store said, please handle the antiques carefully. Handle also means to deal with something or someone. Katie is very good at handling tricky situations. Say it again, handle. Yes, that's right. Handsome, handsome, handsome. Now you try it, handsome. Again, handsome. Yes, one more time, handsome. That's right. Handsome means attractive in appearance. Doris thinks the politician is a handsome man. Say it again, handsome. Yes, that's right. Handy, handy, handy. Now you say it, handy. Yes, again, handy. One more time, handy. That's right. Handy has several meanings. Handy means useful and easy to use. A compass is a handy item to have when you go hiking. Handy also means skillful. Marta is a handy girl with a power drill. Handy also means nearby. Is there a telephone book handy? Say it again, handy. Yes, well done. Hang, hang, hang. You try it, hang. Again, hang. Mm -hmm. One more time, hang. That's right. Hang means to fasten something somewhere by attaching the top and leaving the bottom free. Hang your jacket on a hook in the closet. Say it again, hang. That's right. Haphazard, hap, hazard, haphazard. You try it, haphazard. Again, haphazard. One more time, haphazard. Yes, that's right. Haphazard means disorganized. The papers were scattered in a haphazard manner. Say it again, haphazard. 
That's right. Happen. 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 Now you say it. Happen. Again. Happen. That's right. One more time. Happen. Correct. Happen means to take place or occur. John is waiting for something exciting to happen. Say it again. Happen. That's right. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. We learned English. Your kids can too. Just watch Hello Channel. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Happy. 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 You say it. Happy. Again, happy. One more time. Happy. Yes, well done. Happy means pleased and contented. Tori is happy to sit outside and enjoy the sunshine. I am happy you are learning English with me today. Say it again. Happy. That's right. Harbor. 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 You say it. Harbor. Again. Harbor. One more time. Harbor. That's right. Harbor means a place where ships shelter or unload their cargo. There are many beautiful boats in the city's harbor. Say it again. Harbor. That's right. Hard. 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 Now you say it. Hard. Again. Hard. One more time. Hard. That's correct. Hard has several meanings. Hard means firm and solid. Neil's back hurt after sleeping on his hard bed. Hard also means difficult. James took a very hard test. Hard can also mean enthusiastic and dedicated. Hilda is a hard worker. Say it again, hard. Yes, that's right. Hardly. 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 Now you try it. Hardly. Again, hardly. Yes, one more time. Hardly. That's correct. Hardly means barely or only just. Kathy could hardly wait to open her birthday present. Say it again. Hardly. That's right. Harm. 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 You say it. Harm. Yes, again, harm. One more time. Harm. That's right. Harm means to injure or hurt someone or something. Elsa's insult harms her relationship with Bill. Harm. Say it again. Harm. That's right. Harmony. 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 You say it. Harmony. Again, harmony. One more time. Harmony. Yes, well done. Harmony means agreement. The team worked in perfect harmony. Harmony also means a set of musical notes played at the same time that are part of a chord. The choir sings in four-part harmony. Say it again. Harmony. Yes, well done. Harp. 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 Now you say it. Harp. Again, harp. One more time. Harp. Correct. A harp is a large triangular musical instrument with long strings that you play by plucking. Sarah practices playing the harp every day. Say it again. Harp. Yes, that's correct. Harsh. 
harsh. Harsh. Now you say it, harsh. Again, harsh. Mm -hmm. One more time, harsh. That's right. Harsh means rough or cruel. The punishment he gave was much too harsh. Harsh can also mean unpleasant or difficult for the body or senses. A harsh wind was blowing when Jake stepped outside. Say it again, harsh. Yes, that's right. Harvest, harvest, harvest. Now you say it, harvest. Mm -hmm. Again, harvest. One more time, harvest. That's correct. Harvest means the gathering in of crops that are ripe and ready for picking. Tomorrow, the farmer will harvest his crop of wheat. Harvest also means that which is gathered. The farmer believes that the wheat harvest will be good this year. Say it again, harvest. Correct. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Hey Dad, can you come out and shoot some hoops with me? Sorry, I can't right now. Dad, can I show that by the time I'm 12, I can be influenced by friends more than parents? You know Billy, he's a pretty good kid most of the time. But do you really want him influencing me more than you? Billy. Spot your three points. Give your family everything. Give them your time. From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Haste. 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 Now you say it. Haste. Again. Haste. One more time. Haste. That's right. Haste means speed or quickness. Owen ate breakfast with haste so he wouldn't be late. Say it again. Haste. That's correct. Hat. 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 You try it. Hat. Yes. Again. One more time, hat. Correct. A hat is an item of clothing that you wear on your head. Marge wore a hat for protection from the sun. Say it again, hat. Yes, that's right. Hate. 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 Now you say it, hate. Again, hate. One more time, hate. That's right. Hate means to dislike or detest something or someone. Derek says he will hate it if he must go outside in the freezing rain. Hate. Say it again. Yes, that's right. Hate. Have. 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 Now you say it. Have. Again, have. Mm-hmm. One more time. Have. That's right. Have has several meanings. Have means to own or possess something. The twins have new bicycles. Have also means to experience or enjoy something. The boys would like to have some fun today. Have also means to receive or get something. Did you have lunch already? Have can mean to contain or consist of. The cookies have chocolate chips in them. Say it one more time. Have. That's right. Have. Hazard. 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 Now you say it. Hazard. Again. Hazard. One more time. Hazard. Yes. Well done. Hazard means a danger or a risk. The dried brush was a fire hazard all summer long. Say it again. Hazard. Correct. Head. 
head, head. Now you say it, head. Again, head. Mm -hmm. One more time, head. That's right. Head has several meanings. Head means the top part of your body where your brain, eyes, nose, and mouth are. Joe wears a hat on top of his head. Head also means a person in charge. Caleb is the head of the art department. Head also means to move forward towards something. The entire crowd will head for the exit after the game. Say it again, head. Yes, that's right. Headache, head, ache, headache. Now you say it, headache. Again, headache. Correct, one more time, headache. That's right, well done. Headache means a pain in your head. Rhonda had a throbbing headache all morning. Say it again, headache. That's right. Heel, heel, heel. Now you say it, heel. Again, heel. One more time, heel. That's right. Heel has two meanings. Heel means to get better. Tyson's cut finger will heal very quickly. Heal also means to cure someone or make that person healthy. The doctor is able to heal Jared's illness. Say it again, heal. Correct. Healthy, healthy, healthy. You try it, healthy. Again, healthy. Yes, one more time, healthy. That's right. Healthy has two meanings. If you are healthy, you are fit and well. Brandon is a healthy young boy. If something is healthy, it makes you fit. It is important to eat a healthy diet. Say it again, healthy. That's correct. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Hello, the job market is a competitive place. In today's economy, extra skills mean a better job for you. Speaking English is the skill you need for greater opportunity, more money, and a brighter future. Introducing Hello Channel, an exciting new television channel that teaches English as you watch TV. There's something for everyone, and the more you watch, the faster you'll learn. All you have to do is say hello. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Here, here, here. You say it, here. Again, here. One more time, here. That's right. Here means to sense sound through your ears. Brenda can hear music coming from a room downstairs. Can you hear me? Say it again, hear. That's right. Heart, heart, heart. Now you try it, heart. Again, heart. One more time, heart. That's right. Heart has several meanings. Your heart is the organ in your chest that pumps blood through your entire body. The athlete's heart is beating very quickly. Heart also means enthusiasm and courage. Gail did not lose heart when things went wrong. Heart also means the center of something. It is busiest in the heart of the city. Say it again, heart. Yes, that's right, heart. Heat, heat, heat. You say it, heat. Mm -hmm. Again, heat. One more time, heat. That's right. Heat has several meanings. Heat means great warmth. 
The fire provided a lot of heat for the cabin. Heat also means to cook or warm something. Wilson will heat the leftovers in the microwave oven. Heat can also mean passion. In the heat of the argument, I said some unkind things that I now regret. Say it again, heat. Yes, that's right. Heaven. 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 Now you try it. Heaven. Again, heaven. One more time. Heaven. Yes, well done. Heaven has two meanings. In some religions, heaven is a glorious place where good people go when they die. I want to be a good person and go to heaven when I die. Heaven also means a wonderful place, a wonderful thing, or a wonderful state of being. It was heaven to be on the beach on vacation. Say it again, heaven. Yes, correct. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Now you say it, heavy. Again, heavy. Mm -hmm. One more time, heavy. That's right, well done. He heavy has several meanings. Heavy means weighing a lot. The sack of potatoes is very heavy. Heavy can also mean great in amount or force. We had a heavy rain last night. Heavy also means serious and hard to cope with. Ben felt drained after receiving such heavy news. Say it again, heavy. Yes, that's correct, heavy. Hectic, hectic, hectic. You say it, hectic. Uh-huh, again, hectic. Yes, one more time, hectic. That's correct. Hectic means very busy. Bob has a hectic schedule today. Say it again, hectic. That's right. Heel, heel, heel. Now you say it, heel. Yes, again, heel. Mm-hmm, one more time, heel. That's correct. This heel is spelled with two E's. It has two different meanings. Heel means the back part of your foot. Meg has a blister on her heel from walking so many hours. Heel also means something that supports or is worn on the back part of your foot. Judith likes to wear very high heels. Say it again, heel. Yes, that's right. Congratulations, you did very well. I hope you've learned a lot of new words in English. Join us next time for more Hello Word Power. See you then. Hello, my name is Ruth, and I would like to help you learn new words in English. Join me next for Hello Word Power on Hello Channel. This is Hello Channel. Hello, I'm Ruth Todd. Welcome to Hello Word Power. We're learning words in English that begin with the letter H. H makes the sound You try it. Correct. Capital H small h. Are you ready? Let's begin. Height. 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 You say it. Height. Again. Height. 
one more time. Height. That's right. Well done. Height has two meanings. Height means a measurement of how high or tall something is. Michelle jumped from a height of five feet. Height is also the most important or greatest point of something. Lori's new hat is the height of fashion. Say it again, height. That's right. Helicopter. 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 Now you try it. Helicopter. Again, helicopter. One more time. Helicopter. That's right. A helicopter is an aircraft with large rotating blades on the top. The helicopter flew over the town. Say it again. Helicopter. Yes, that's right. Helicopter. Hello. 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 This is one of my favorite words. Hello is said in greeting when you meet a person or speak on the telephone. Lincoln stopped by to say hello to our crew. Say it again. Hello. Yes, that's right. Help. 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 Now you say it. Help. Again, help. One more time, help. That's correct. Help means to assist. Jill offered to help the elderly woman with her groceries. I would like to help you learn English. Say it again, help. That's right. Hen. 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 Now you say it, hen. Again, hen. One more time, hen. Yes, that's right. A hen is a female chicken. The hen supplies fresh eggs every day. Say it again, hen. Correct. Herb, herb, herb. In this word, the H is silent. Say it again with me, herb. Again, herb. That's right. An herb is a plant that is used in medicine or cooking. Rosemary is my favorite herb to cook with. Say it again, herb. Correct. Here, here, here. You say it, here. Again, here. That's right, one more time, here. Well done. Here has several meanings. Here means at or in this place. Set the bag down right here. Here also means at this point or at this time. Here is where the music becomes softer. Here also means this place. The boundary is from here to that tree. Say it again, here. That's correct. Hero, hero, hero. Now you say it, hero. Again, hero. Mm -hmm. One more time, hero. That's right, well done. Hero has two meanings. Hero means a brave or good person. George Washington is known as a hero of the American Revolution. Hero also means the main character in a book, play, movie, or any kind of story. Superman is Susie's favorite cartoon movie hero. Say it again, hero. That's right. Hesitate. 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 You try it, hesitate. Again, hesitate. One more time, hesitate. That's right. Hesitate means to pause right before you do something. Zach will often hesitate before diving into the freezing water. Hesitate, say it one more time. That's right, hesitate. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. 
Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Hi. 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 You say it. Hi. Again, hi. That's right. Hi is an informal word. It's like hello used in a greeting. Harry always says hi when he sees his friends. Say it again. Hi. Yes, that's correct. Hide. 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 Now you try it. Hide. Again. Hide. One more time. Hide. That's right. Hide has several meanings. Hide means to go where you cannot be seen. Hannah likes to hide from her playmates. Hide also means to keep something secret or concealed. Juliet managed to hide her disappointment when she was not selected for the team. Hide also means an animal's skin used to make leather products. These gloves are made from a deer hide. Say it again, hide. That's right, well done. Hideous, hideous. Hideous. You try it. Hideous. Again, hideous. Mm -hmm. One more time. Hideous. That's right. Hideous means ugly or horrible. Jason thought Melissa's new dress was hideous. Say it again. Hideous. That's right. Hi. 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 This word has a silent G-H on the end. Hi. You try it. Yes, say it again. Hi. One more time. Hi. That's right. Hi has several meanings. Something that is high is a great distance from the ground. Our kite is flying very high in the air. Hi also means measured from top to bottom. The tree is 75 feet high. High also means more than the normal level or the normal amount. The water level is high in this section of the river. Say it again, high. Yes, that's correct. Highway, high way. Highway, you say it, highway. Again, highway. One more time. Highway. That's right. Well done. A highway is a main public road. We will get there faster if we drive on the main highway. Say it again. Highway. Yes. Well done. Hike. 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 Now you say it. Hike. Again. Hike. One more time, hike. Yes, that's right. Hike means a long walk, especially in the country. It is pleasant to hike in the beautiful mountains. Say it again, hike. Yes, that's right. Hilarious. 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 Now you say it, hilarious. Again, hilarious. One more time. Hilarious. Yes, that's right. Hilarious means extremely funny. The audience thought the new comedian was just hilarious. Say it again. Hilarious. Yes, that's right. Hill. 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 Now you say it. Hill. Again. Hill. One more time. Hill. That's right. Hill means a raised area of land that is smaller than a mountain. The children wish to have their picnic at the top of that hill. Say it again. Hill. That's right. 
hint, hint, hint. Now you say it, hint. Mm -hmm. Again, hint. One more time, hint. That's right. Hint has two meanings. Hint means a clue or a helpful tip. Mother had many hints for making housework seem easier. Hint also means a tiny amount or a trace. I can taste a hint of nutmeg in these cookies. Hint. Say it again. That's right, hint. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Learning a new language can be difficult and discouraging, but it doesn't have to be. Hello, I'm Karen, introducing Hello Channel, the revolutionary new channel designed especially to teach English. If you can speak English, the future is open for you, since speaking English means greater opportunity and higher paying jobs. By watching Hello Channel, you are immersed in this valuable language. You'll hear the words being spoken. You'll see the speaker's mouths when they say the words. You'll read what's being spoken in large, clear subtitles. And you'll speak out loud, practicing what you have just learned. There is no better or faster way to learn a language than total immersion. Hello Channel does exactly that. There's programming on every level so you can watch the shows that are just perfect for you. Whether you've spoken a little English, a great deal of English, or none at all, the Hello Channel has something for everyone. Join us for a convenient, affordable, and fun way to shape your future. There's so much in store for you if you'll just say hello. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. History. 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 Now you say it. History. Again, history. Mm -hmm. One more time. History. That's right. History is the study of past events. Jean is studying the history of ancient Greece. Say it one more time. History. That's right. Hit. 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 Now you say it. Hit. Again. Hit. One more time. Hit. That's right. Hit has several meanings. Hit means to smack or strike something with your hand or with an object such as a hammer or a bat. Gina hit the ball with her bat. Hit also means to have a bad effect on someone or something. Quinn was hit hard by the bad news. Hit also means a successful song, play, or any type of presentation. Grandma's lasagna was a big hit with the entire family. Say it again, hit. That's right. Hoax, hoax, hoax. Now you say it, hoax. Yes, again, hoax. One more time, hoax. That's right. A hoax is a trick or a practical joke. Claiming the house was haunted was a big hoax. Say it again, hoax. Yes, that's right. Hog, hog, hog. You say it, hog. Again, hog. That's right, one more time, hog. Well done. A hog is a fully grown pig. 
The hog wallowed in the mud. Say it again, hog. That's right. Hold, hold, hold. You try it, hold. Again, hold. Yes, one more time, hold. That's right. Hold has several meanings. Hold means to contain something or be able to contain it. This bottle will hold less than a liter of liquid. Hold also means to have. The children hold secret club meetings in their treehouse. Hold also means the part of a ship where cargo is stored. There are many bags of rice and potatoes in the hold of the ship. Say it again, hold. That's correct. Hole, hole, hole. You try it, hole. Again, hole. One more time, hole. Yes, well done. A hole is a hollow place or a gap. Jackie dug a big hole to plant the tree in. Hole, say it again. That's right, hole. Holiday, holiday, holiday. Now you say it, holiday. Mm -hmm. Again, holiday. One more time, holiday. That's right, well done. A holiday is a day on which school, work, or any regular activities are officially suspended. Christmas is a holiday all over the world. A holiday is also a religious festival or a holy time such as Passover, the month of Ramadan, or Easter. Christmas is Robert's favorite holiday. Say it again, holiday. Yes, correct. Home, home, home. Now you try it, home. Again, home. Mm -hmm. One more time, home. That's right, home. Your home is where you live or where you belong. After the movie, the couple went home. Say it again, home. That's right. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. You can learn English if you'll just say hello. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Honest. 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 Now you say it. Honest. Again, honest. One more time. Honest. That's right. The H in honest is silent. An honest person is truthful and will not steal or lie or cheat. Heidi is always honest in her work. Say it one more time. Honest. Yes, that's correct. Honey. 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 Now you say it. Honey. Again, honey. One more time. Honey. That's right. Honey is a sweet, sticky substance that's made by bees. Honey is often added to tea instead of sugar. Say it again. Honey. That's right. Hood. 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 Now you say it. Hood. Again, hood. One more time. Hood. That's right. Yes, that's right. Hood has two meanings. Hood means the part of a jacket or coat that goes over your head. I will wear my jacket that has a hood in case it rains. Hood also means the cover for a car's engine. Check under the hood for engine problems. Say it again, hood. That's right. Hop, hop, hop. Now you say it, 
hop. Again, hop. Yes, that's correct. Hop has several meanings. Hop means to move with short jumps or leaps. The birds hop around in the grass. Hop also means to jump on one foot. Sabrina likes to hop up and down for several minutes without ever losing her balance. Hop also means to jump over something. We may get in trouble if we hop over the fence. Say it again, hop. Yes, that's right, hop. Hope, hope, hope. You say it, hope. Again, hope. One more time, hope. That's right, hope. Hope has two meanings. Hope means to expect or wish for something. I hope I get a letter in the mail today. Hope also means a feeling of expectation or confidence. Eileen has great hope for her future. Say it again, hope. Yes, that's right. Horn, horn, horn. You say it, horn. Again, horn. One more time, horn. That's right, well done. A horn is a hard, bony, permanent growth on the heads of some animals. That bull has very long, sharp horns. A horn is also a brass musical instrument that you blow to make music. William plays the French horn in the band. A horn is also a machine that gives a signal by making a loud sound. Richard honked the car horn. Say it again, horn. That's right. Horrible, horrible, horrible. You try it, horrible. Again, horrible. Yes, repeat, horrible. That's right, well done. Horrible means very bad. This burnt food tastes horrible. Say it again, horrible. That's right. Horse, horse, horse. Now you say it, horse. Yes, again, horse. One more time, horse. Yes, that's right, horse. A horse is a large, strong animal with hooves that people ride or use to pull coaches, plows, and carriages. Bonnie has loved to ride her horse since she was a little girl. Horse, say it one more time. Yes, correct. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Learn English on your level, in your home, on your schedule. Introducing Hello Channel, an exciting new way to learn English as you build a better future. Join us and say hello. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Hospital. 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 Now you say it. Hospital. Again, hospital. One more time. Hospital. That's right. Well done. A hospital is a place where you receive medical treatment and you are looked over when you are sick, injured, or having a baby. Nelson had to stay in the hospital for one week after his surgery. Hospital, say it again. Yes, that's right, hospital. Host, host, host. You try it, host. Again, host. Once more, host. That's right. A host 
is a person who entertains guests. I want to thank the host of this delightful party. A host is also a large number. The reporter asked a host of questions. Also, a host is a person who is in charge of a television show that offers conversation, music, etc. Oprah has been the host of her own television talk show for many years in the United States. Host, say it again, host. Yes, well done. Hot, hot, hot. You say it, hot. Again, hot. One more time, hot. That's right. Hot has two meanings. Hot means having a high temperature. You will burn yourself if you touch a hot stove. Hot also means very spicy or strong in taste. David does not like to eat hot peppers. Say it again, hot. Yes, that's right, hot. Hotel, ho-tel, hotel. You try it, hotel. Again, hotel. One more time, hotel. That's right, well done. A hotel is a place where you pay to stay overnight. We'll be staying in the old hotel in the center of town. Say it again, hotel. Yes, that's right. Hour, hour, hour. Now you say it, hour. Again, hour. One more time, hour. That's right. An hour is a unit of time. It is equal to 60 minutes. Javier will arrive at the airport in one hour. Say it again, hour. Yes, correct. House, house, house. Now you say it, house. Again, house. One last time, house. That's right. A house is a place where people live. Anne went to William's house to watch a movie. Say it again, house. How, how, how. You try it, how. Again, how. One more time, how. That's right. How has several meanings. How means in what way or by what means? How did you make that necklace? How also means in what condition? How are you feeling today? How are you? How also means to what extent, to what amount, or to what degree? How long is this play going to last? How, say it again. Yes, that's right, how. Hug, hug, hug. Now you say it, hug. Again, hug. Yes, once more, hug. That's right. Hug means to hold someone or something tightly or hold it in a loving, caring way. Grandma gave the children a big hug. Say it again, hug. That's right. Congratulations, you did very well. I hope you've learned a lot of new words in English. Join us next time for more Hello Word Power. See you then. Hello, my name is Ruth, and I would like to help you learn new words in English. Join me next for Hello Word Power on Hello Channel. This is Hello Channel.
Hello, I'm Ruth Todd. Welcome to Hello Word Power. We're learning words in English that begin with the letter H. H makes the sound You try it. Correct. Capital H, small h. Are you ready? Let's begin. Huge. 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 You try it. Huge. Yes, let's try again. Huge. Once more. Huge. Yes, that's right. Huge means gigantic or enormous. The new soccer stadium is absolutely huge. Say it again. Huge. That's right. Human. 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 Now you say it. Human. Again. Human. Please repeat. Human. That's right. Human. Human has two meanings. A human is a person. Very few humans live on the continent of Antarctica. Human also means natural and understandable. It is human to be disappointed when things go wrong. Say it one more time. Human. Yes, that's right. Humid. 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 Now you say it. Humid. Again, humid. Once more. Humid. That's right. Humid means moist or damp. The weather along the coast is very humid. Say it one more time. Humid. Yes, correct. Hummingbird. 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 You try it. Hummingbird. Mm -hmm. Again, hummingbird. Once more. Hummingbird. That's right. A hummingbird is a very small, brightly colored bird that makes a humming sound when it flaps its wings rapidly. The hummingbird visits our garden every day. Say it again. Hummingbird. Yes, that's right. Humor. 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 You say it. Humor. Again. Humor. Yes, once more. Humor. That's right. Humor has two meanings. Humor means the funny or amusing aspect of something. Claude thought the movie was filled with lots of humor. Humor also means mood or state of mind. Sebastian is in a very good humor today. Say it again. Humor. That's right. Hungry. 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 You try it. Hungry. Again. Hungry. Once more. Hungry. Yes, well done. Hungry means wanting food. Chad is always very hungry in the morning. Say it again. Hungry. That's right. Hunk. 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 You try it. Hunk. Again. Hunk. Yes, once more. Hunk. That's right. Hunk means a large piece of something. Carl ate a hunk of cheese with his bread for lunch. Hunk is also a slang word in English for a very handsome man. The girls think the movie star is a hunk. Say it again. Hunk. That's right. Hunt. 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 Now you say it. Hunt. Again. Hunt. Yes, once more. Hunt. That's right. Hunt has two meanings. Hunt means to search for something. Irene will hunt all over for her lost car keys. Hunt also means to chase and kill wild animals and fowl for food or sport. My uncle 
will hunt deer every autumn. Say it again, hunt. That's right. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Hello, I'm Ruth. Learning to speak English can change your life. Knowing this valuable language can provide you with so many opportunities in education as well as the job market. Now you can learn English just by watching television. Introducing Hello Channel, a channel designed to help you learn English right in your own home. You can choose from Hello Channel's classroom programming or you can watch great entertainment. All of it will teach you how to speak English. Hello Channel offers programs on every level, so you'll find something exactly right for you. Start today to build success by learning English. For a brighter future, say hello. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Hurricane. 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 Now you say it. Hurricane. Again. Hurricane. One more time. Hurricane. That's right. A hurricane is a violent storm with high winds and heavy rains that come from the ocean. Many homes were destroyed by the recent hurricane. Say it one more time, hurricane. That's right. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Now you try it, hurry. Again, hurry. Once more, hurry. Yes, that's right. Hurry means to do something as fast as possible. Carrie will hurry to finish the dishes so she can watch her favorite television program. We must hurry so we are not late to school. Say it again, hurry. That's correct. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Now you say it, hurt. Yes, let's try again. Hurt. Mm -hmm. One more time. Hurt. That's right, hurt. Hurt has two meanings. Hurt means to cause physical or emotional pain, as in Doug hurt Jonathan with his critical remarks. Hurt also means to be in pain. Candace's wrist hurt after the accident. Hurt. Say it again. That's right, hurt. Husband, husband, husband. You try it, husband. Again, husband. Once more, husband. That's right. Husband means the male partner in a marriage. The husband and wife celebrated their first anniversary. Husband. Hut, hut, you say it, hut. Again, hut. Once more, hut. That's right, hut. Hut means a small primitive house. The islander's hut captured the cool breezes. They lived in a hut on the island. Say it again, hut. That's right. Hygiene, hygiene, hygiene. Now you say it, hygiene. Yes, again, hygiene. Mm -hmm. Once more, hygiene. That's right. Hygiene means actions taken by people to stay healthy and keep clean. Showering every day is an example of good hygiene. Say it one more time, hygiene. That's right. Him, him, him. 
Can you tell the N on the end of this word is silent? Say it with me, him. Again, him. Yes, repeat once more, him. Well done. A hymn is a song of praise. Singing hymns is a popular part of church attendance. Say it one more time, him. That's right, well done. Congratulations, you did very well. I hope you've learned a lot of new words in English. Join us next time for more Hello Word Power. See you then. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Number power. On today's show, we will learn all about large numbers. We have learned about numbers from 1 to 99. 1 is a single digit number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 are all single digit numbers because there is only one digit in each number. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 20, 25, 30, 38, 50, 66, 74, 83, 99. These are all double digit numbers, two digits in each number. All of the numbers between 10 and 99 are two digit numbers. What comes after 99? The next number is 100. Repeat after me. 100. Good. Let's try it again. 100. One more time. 100. Well done. What comes after 100? That's easy. It's 101. Repeat after me. 101. Again, 101. Good. Now count with me. Ready? 101. 102. 103. 104. 105. 106. 107. 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115. Do you see the pattern? Terrific. Let's try some more numbers. Repeat after me. 195, 196, 197, 198, 199. What's next? Can you guess? It's 200. Please repeat after me. 200. Yes, that's right. Now follow me. 200. 201. 202. 203. Great. What comes after 299? Right. It's 300. Count with me. 300. 301. 302. 303. What comes after the three hundreds? The four hundreds. Repeat. Four hundred. Four hundred one. Four hundred two. Four hundred three. 
Then the five hundreds. Repeat. Five hundred. Five hundred one. Five hundred two. Five hundred three. Then come the six hundreds and the seven hundreds and the eight hundreds and the nine hundreds. All have the same pattern. Let's practice a few. Just repeat after me. Five hundred twenty-five. Six hundred thirty-five. Seven hundred sixty-three. Eight hundred seventy-six. Nine hundred ninety-nine. Wow, you did that very well. All of the numbers from one hundred to nine hundred ninety-nine are three-digit numbers. There are three digits in each number. But what comes after nine hundred ninety-nine? The answer is one thousand. Can you say that? One thousand. Try it again. One thousand. One more time. One thousand. Well done. One thousand is a four-digit number because there are four digits. Let's count from one thousand. Ready? Please repeat. One thousand. One thousand one. One thousand two. One thousand three. One thousand four. Do you see the pattern? The pattern is similar for the two thousands. Let's try. Two thousand. Two thousand one. Two thousand two. Two thousand three. Two thousand four. It's easy. You can do it. Same for the three thousands. Three thousand. Three thousand one. Three thousand two. Three thousand three. Three thousand four. This pattern continues for the four thousands, the five thousands, the six thousands, the seven thousands. The eight thousands and the nine thousands. Let's try some different four-digit numbers. Ready? One thousand four hundred thirty-five. Two thousand two hundred eighty-nine. Three thousand one hundred eighty-seven. Four thousand eight hundred sixty-two. Five thousand one hundred ten. Six thousand two hundred ninety. Seven thousand seven hundred seventy-seven. Eight thousand one hundred eighteen. Nine thousand nine. Well done. Good job. Now, what is the largest four-digit number? Correct. Nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. What is the next number after nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine? The answer is ten thousand. Please repeat. Ten thousand. One more time. Ten thousand. Great. Ten thousand is a five-digit number. Let's count. Ready? Please repeat. Ten thousand. Twenty thousand. Thirty thousand, forty thousand, fifty thousand, sixty thousand, seventy thousand, eighty thousand, ninety thousand. Excellent! All of the numbers from ten thousand to ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine are five-digit numbers. What's next? The first six-digit number is one hundred thousand. Can you say that? One hundred thousand. Try it again. One hundred thousand. Good. 
Now, follow me. 100,000. 200,000. 300,000. 400,000. 500,000. 600,000. 700,000. 800,000. 900,000. I think you see the pattern. Very good. All numbers from 100,000 to 999,999 are six digit numbers. What's next? The next number after 999,999 is 1 million. Have you ever heard of this number? Try it. One million. One more time. One million. Terrific. One more time. One million. Well done. One million is a big number. How many digits does the number one million have? Yes, it has seven digits. Now, let's try some large numbers. 1,005, 15,364, 87,666, 145,873, 458,734, 732,956 1 million 267,532 2 million 489,500 6 million 248,519 9 million 325,710 Great job. These are difficult to learn. Very well done. Thanks for joining us today. It was fun to learn about large numbers. Goodbye. See you next time on Number Power. Hello! The job market is a competitive place. In today's economy, extra skills mean a better job for you. Speaking English is the skill you need for greater opportunity, more money, and a brighter future. Introducing Hello Channel, an exciting new television channel that teaches English as you watch TV. There's something for everyone, and the more you watch, the faster you'll learn. All you have to do is say hello. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Number Power. On today's show, we will learn all about zero and negative numbers. We have learned about numbers from 1 to 1 million. Many different numbers, some small and some very large. All of these numbers are positive. This means that all of these numbers are greater than zero. What is zero? Zero is a number, but zero means nothing or the absence of anything. For example, there are no apples in this bowl. We can also say there are zero apples in this bowl. This park is empty. There are no children in this park. There are zero children in this park. Do you see any leaves on this tree? There are no leaves on this tree. There are zero leaves on this tree. 
There are no birds on this pond. There are zero birds on this pond. This is the symbol for zero. Have you seen it before? I'm sure you have. Here are three cars. Here are two cars. Here is one car. Here are no cars. There are zero cars here. Now, let's count down from ten to one. Ready? Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. After one, what is next? Next is zero. Zero is what follows one when we count down. Now let's count down again from ten, but this time let's go all the way to zero. Ready? Repeat after me. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Remember, zero indicates that there is nothing. How else can we describe zero? Well, five minus five is zero. If you have five and then take away five, there is nothing left. There is zero left. Ten minus ten is zero. One hundred minus one hundred is zero. Well done. I think you understand zero. Are there numbers that reflect an amount less than zero? Is there anything beyond zero? Yes, negative numbers. What is a negative number? Let's find out. Three minus four is negative one. Negative one is less than one. It is less than zero. Negative one is one less than zero. Let's try another. Five minus ten is negative five. We use a negative sign for negative numbers. If there is no sign in front of the number, the number is positive. So we say ten to indicate a positive ten. And we say negative ten to indicate a negative ten. Okay, let's count down from ten or positive ten to negative ten. Ready? Let's begin. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine, negative ten. Very good. What is six minus seven? Right, negative one. What is ten minus twenty? Correct, negative ten. What is fifty minus one hundred? Yes, negative fifty. Good. Well done. I think you understand the concept of negative numbers. Thanks for joining us today. It was fun to learn about zero and negative numbers. Goodbye. See you next time on Number Power. Hello, I'm Nastasia, and I'd like to introduce you to Hello Channel, the innovative new way to learn English as a second language. If you can learn English, your opportunities expand. Knowing English allows you greater job options, more money, and a better lifestyle. Here's the best part. 
learning English is now easy because Hello Channel brings it right to your home. Come join our classroom, enjoy great entertainment, and improve your vocabulary all while you watch TV. A brighter future is ahead if you'll just say hello. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Number power. On today's show, we will learn all about fractions and decimals. First, let's talk about fractions. What is a fraction? A fraction is something less than a whole number. For example, what happens if you split one apple into two equal parts? You end up with two halves. Neither part is a whole. Each half is a fraction. Together they form a whole apple or one apple, but separately they are only halves. So when there are two equal parts of something, each part is called a half. If there is more than one half, the parts are referred to as halves. We say one half, two halves. Repeat after me. One half. Very good. Now say two halves. Well done. How do we express a half? A half is written as 1 over 2. The number on top, the numerator, indicates how many parts we are referring to. In this case, the numerator is 1 because we are talking about just one half. The lower number, the denominator, reflects the total amount of parts available. In this case, the apple was split into two parts, so the denominator is 2. If there are three parts, we call each part a third. If there are four parts, each part is a quarter or a fourth. Five parts, each is a fifth. Six parts, each is a sixth. Seven parts, each is a seventh. Eight parts, each is an eighth. Nine parts, each is a ninth. And ten parts, each is a tenth. Let's practice fractions. Repeat after me. A third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, an eighth, a ninth, a tenth. Wonderful. Remember, a fourth is also a quarter. Now let's add the words whole and half to make the list complete. Ready? Follow me. A whole, a half, a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, an eighth, a ninth, a tenth. Wow, very good. So what is the result if we split an apple into four parts? What is the fraction? The fraction is quarters or fourths. One quarter can be expressed as one over four. One on the top and four on the bottom. One fourth or one quarter. Two quarters can be expressed as two over four. Two on the top and four on the bottom. Two fourths or two quarters. Three quarters can be expressed as three over four, three fourths or three quarters. And four quarters can be expressed as four over four, four fourths or four quarters. Four over four is also a whole or one. Two over four is also a half. Well done. Now let's try a different example. A pie is cut into six parts, and we have five of them. That is expressed as five over six. We call this five-sixths. Try it. Five-sixths. What if there are two parts? Yes, the answer is two-sixths. Two-sixths. 
is also one-third. What if you have a piece of wood cut into eight parts? What is one part? One part is one over eight, or one-eighth. What are two parts? Yes, two-eighths. Three parts? Yes, three-eighths. Do you see the pattern? Good job. Well done. Fractions can be attached to whole numbers. For example, this number is one and a half. This number is three and a quarter. And this number is nine and five-eighths. Now, let's talk about decimals. There is another way to express a portion of a whole number. One-half can also be expressed as point five. The point is a decimal point, but we simply refer to it as a point. Repeat after me. Point five. Good. Point five is one.